Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Tracy Smith, and I am a diamond with doTERRA, and I have been asked to speak on goal setting. So today we're going to talk a little bit about goals, and we're going to go through why it's important to set goals, um, how you should set goals, and also uh, what areas of your life you should set goals in. So we're going to cover all of that today. Uh, goals are, a, are vital to, to your success, and goals give direction to your life. They help you overcome confusion and conflict over desires, actions, and values. They help you concentrate your energy and effort towards a better life. So goals are extremely important. It's important to realize that unless you write a goal down, it is just a wish. When it's in writing, it's a commitment. So we're going to talk about goals. A goal is an outcome that one strives to achieve by proper planning. It's something one puts conscious effort into taking regular steps to achieve. This systematic process or formula makes the impractical practical, the unreachable reachable, and the improbable probable. With clarity, define with clearly defined goals, your chances for success increase dramatically. So here's the really important thing to realize. A very small portion of the population sets goals. Most people do not set goals. So just in you setting a goal, you're far exceeding what the vast majority of the population is doing. However, the majority of people who actually set goals do not write them down. So writing down your goals is an extremely important part of the goal setting process. And it is a very small portion of the people who put goals out there and obviously an extremely small portion of the population in general. But what we know is that no goals means that you don't have direction towards your success that you're aiming towards. So we want to have goals. They're very important. It's a dream until you write it down, then it's a goal. Would you go on a trip without first looking at a map? Of course not. So the important aspect of goal setting is it allows us to focus on where we want to go and then outline the proper steps on how to get there. Why is it important to set goals? Setting goals helps you get clarity and focus about what it is you wish to accomplish. When you write out your goals, you're increasing the odds that your goals will be accomplished by setting them and writing them. Goals allow you to put conscious effort into taking regular baby steps to achieve an outcome. Reviewing your goals can fill you with excitement and motivation. So when you, when you are setting your goals, they should be set a minimum of one time a year. My recommendation is that you set goals for the following year in December of the year before. So this December, you would set your goals for next year. You want to start off the first of the year with goals already clearly defined and written out. They should be read every day for 21 days straight. We know that 21 days is how long it takes to form a habit. Once you've done that 21 days straight, they should be revisited at least every week. So the steps to setting your goals. The first thing you need to do is identify your goal. So it's not, you know, you, you, you obviously have to first determine what it is you would like to accomplishment, accomplish. So let's take an example. Um, so let's say the example is that you want to lose, you know, 15 pounds. Okay, so let's say that's our example. You want to lose 15 pounds. I want to leave, or here we go. I want to weigh a lean, mean 140 pounds. You need to put your goals through the test by asking certain, certain questions. Is this goal bold enough? If you weigh 142 pounds, maybe um, 140 pounds is not a bold enough goal. Do I honestly believe I can achieve this goal? If not, why? Does this goal conflict with any other goals? How would I feel a year? five years, 10 years from now, if I never achieved this goal. 
Then after you've actually asked yourself those questions about your goal to determine if you actually want it to be your goal, you need to set a maturity date for your goal to achieve. That basically means when do you want to reach your goal by? And then identify the obstacles you must overcome in order to achieve your goal. Identify the people, groups, and organizations you need to work with in order to achieve your goal. Identify the skills and knowledge you need to help achieve your goal. Ask yourself if you're willing to pay the price in order to enjoy the benefits. List the benefits of achieving and reasons why you are committed to your goal and visualize yourself having already achieved that goal. What pain will you experience in your life if you do not achieve the goal? This is a really important thing I want to hit on. Sometimes when we're setting a goal, what we don't think about is, is this goal really, truly important to me? If I don't reach the goal, why will that be painful? Why will be that, why that be a challenge? Why will that be difficult? If it's not something that stretches you, perhaps it's not a goal worth trying to achieve. So if your goal, let's say in your doTERRA business is that you want to reach, uh, you want to um, advance and rank um, by the end of um, this year, why will it be painful or why will it be challenging to you if you do not reach that goal? You're going to have to answer those questions for yourself. There's no clear, defined right or wrong answer. There's just whatever the answer is for you. If you go, eh, it's not really painful. I don't really care if I hit it or if I don't hit it then maybe that's not a goal that you need to be setting at this time because it may be that you're setting a goal for someone else's standards and not something that's truly important to yourself. So these are definitely important steps to go through. Make sure your goals are smart. So what is smart? They are specific. I don't want to just lose weight. I want to lose a specific amount of weight or I want to weigh a certain amount. They are measurable. So you need to be able to quantify a goal. So if we say, I want to a rank advance to the rank of executive, elite, um, uh, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, whatever it is, you need to be able to put a measurable goal to that. So I want to rank advance. Well, to what, right? And then um, how do we measure that? Well, we know how we measure it, but it's a measurable goal. Is it attainable? So if my rank was um, elite this month and I had not held a single class or made a single new contact, it would probably not be an attainable goal for me to be diamond by next month. So what we often say, or what I often say is goals should be easy to win and hard to lose. So if we are going to be more motivated and more driven to move forward, if we go through and meet goals as we set them, then we need to make sure the goals that we set are easy to win and hard to lose. It's not uncommon for people to be discouraged if they don't meet a goal that is outlined in front of them. If we're constantly um, setting out unattainable goals, we'll constantly be frustrated or agitated by the fact that we're not reaching the goals that we want to, want to be reaching or that we set out before ourselves and we'll be more likely to stop, A, working hard for them, and B, stop setting goals altogether. They need to be relevant. They're important. They're something that is um, applicable to our life. And they need to have a time frame. So I don't just, I want to rank advance. It's, I want to rank advance by X, Y, or Z date. So repeat the steps above for each of your goals. So you're going to do that for every single goal that you lay out before you. So sometimes you got to brainstorm. There's several steps that go through, through um, goal setting. So the first may be that you're brainstorming on what goals do you think that you may want to um, set out before yourself. And then when you have a list of a few goals that you'd like to set out before yourself, then you may go to the next step and start asking all of those questions of each of those goals. And then you may ask the question, is this a smart goal? And then you're going to move on to the next one and do the same thing over and over. Goal setting when done properly is not something that takes five minutes. It's something that you may set that time out before you plan it out. And it may be something that takes 
a half a day, a day. Maybe you and your significant other, you and your spouse, go away for a weekend just to goal plan during that um, that period before uh, the beginning of the year. So maybe every December, you and your significant other or you and an important person in your life set a time, um, a, a, a certain amount of time where you you get away, you get to a, a place where you're able to think and brainstorm and, and really uh, vision, be a visionary about what your future is going to look for or look like, because this is not something that takes five minutes to do. So there are 12 areas that you need to set goals in. So people oftentimes will be very general about their goals. But what we find is that if you concentrate on each area in your life and you set specific goals for that, you'll find that you feel like you're very, um, you feel very fulfilled because every aspect of your life is having attention drawn to it, not just one specific aspect. So let's talk about this. So the first one would be your career. That would be the first area. So um, everybody has a career. We may not all look the same in what our career is, but all of us have one, whether that be an executive, a CEO, um, you know, MLM or a stay-at-home mom, all of us have a career. So the first thing we want to do is set in that area. This includes all the desires or dreams of your chosen pursuit, your life's work, establishing levels of accomplishment, advancing your career position, developing the skills to be effective. So the next is financial goals. These are extraordinarily important and oftentimes overlooked. Goals such as getting a raise, getting out of debt, building a certain net worth by a specific time, or retiring as a uh, pre-established time with a given net worth, saving money effectively for travel, etc. So financial goals. Spiritual goals, such as uh, reading the Bible daily, tithing, joining a Bible study, daily prayer or meditation, learning more about your religion. These are spiritual goals. Physical goals, such as changing your diet, releasing excess weight, improving physical appearance by means of new wardrobe, taking up an exercise, a new exercise, joining a health club. All of those would be physical goals. Mental goals are things such as learning new skills, remembering names, changing mental attitudes, taking additional classes, listening to good affirming music, or reading a good book. Family goals are such things as changing roles in your family, improving communication with your family, educating your children. Personal relationships are going to be things such as developing a better relationship with your significant other, acquiring new friends, or releasing old relationships. Things that I want to do is going to be the next category. This is going to be things like taking a cruise or a trip, climbing a mountain, writing a book, or learning a new skill. Things that you want to have, such as a dream house, new furniture, a new car. Miscellaneous things. This is things that don't fit into the other categories that we've listed already. Things I want to be. Describe the total concept of the type of person you want to be. Once you've described the new you, use words and pictures to form an image. So this is things like, I am a patient person. I am a person who has self-control. I am a person who others turn to when they need someone who will listen to them and comfort them. Feelings. Goals about feelings include reflecting the positive attitudes and emotional changes, such as experiencing joy each day, no matter what's happening, feeling good, being excited, awake, alert, alive, enthusiastic, surrendering resentments, irritability, anger, blame, and guilt. We can surrender our negative attitudes and emotions through use of personal inventory. Your feelings will determine your success in all your goal categories. The important steps to achieving your goals. Create an action plan. Essentially, a to-do list that includes a list of monthly, weekly, and most importantly, daily action steps that will bring you closer to your goals. The second part of the plan of action is a list of non-reoccurring actions where you list the action, the date it needs to be done by um, or on, and the approximate time that it will take. Follow your action plan like you would a written plan from your coach, your boss, or someone of importance to you. For some reason, at some time, you will find yourself not as committed to reaching your goals as you were when you first wrote them down. 
It's been said that you must pay the price for achieving your goals, but the truth is you enjoy the benefits. You must pay the price for not setting goals at all. Don't let other people talk you out of your goals or tell you they're too big or not reasonable. If you believe in them, that is all that matters. You have a victorious spirit spirit, and the power to create the full and beautiful life your heart longs for. Goals enable us to use our creative imagination to build a dream so real, so vivid, it must come true. If you aim at nothing, you will hit it every time. This is such an important aspect as to why goals are of the utmost importance. If we're not aiming at something, we're always going to hit it. But when we aim at something very specifically, we are going to be able to achieve just the things that we've put out, about, put out in front of us. A few other side notes about goals that aren't included in the PowerPoint. Goals should be set as if you are saying them that they have already happened. I have lost 140 pounds by March of 2018. You would then step underneath that and say, these are the ways that I'm going to accomplish that. I walk three miles a day or I walk um, three days a week. I um, stop eating sugar. I um, get uh, join a, a gym with my significant other. Those are the action steps that are going to gear you towards that first goal. But saying it in the present as if it's already happened. I have lost 140 pounds by May of 2018. Our, our mind reads that as if it's already happened. So it's important to write goals down in that context. Make sure in review that you're setting positive goals, not I won't gain any more weight, right? You could say, I have maintained the weight loss that I have done so far, but you don't say, I won't gain any more weight. That's a negative goal. You set positive goals. You speak them or write them in a positive manner, not in a negative manner. You set a time for them to be achieved by. You set them as if they are happening or they have already happened in the present tense or in the past. You make sure that they are attainable, achievable, and they are easy to win and hard to lose. It is so much easier to hit a goal and set for the next mile marker than it is to set 18 miles in the future and struggle and just have a hard time reaching that. It is so much more wind in your sails when you reach a lot of little bitty goals and in the direction of that large goal rather than struggling and pushing to reach that large goal and falling short. So easy to win, hard to lose. Go back, listen to this PowerPoint a few times, read over everything, write it down, make notes, and start planning. Your first goal should be Let's go ahead and set a time when we're going to sit down and do our goals. In each of the 12 areas, you should have three goals. If you don't have three, at least have one. Start there. If you have never set goals before, start with one area, your personal. If you want to go more than just your personal, then go to your financial, then go to your career, but start somewhere. If all of this to do it in the grand scale is too overwhelming, start small and build yourself up. If you don't do anything, remember, if you have nothing to aim at, you'll hit it every time. If you have something specific to aim at, you will have the ability to achieve your wildest dreams. Thanks guys so much for listening and I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, always feel free to ask.